All right, we found this find. Just a few minutes after walking down from our other trap. We do not know what it is. These are weird feathers. Yeah, those are feathers, not coon dog. Yeah, it looked like coon fur at first, but oh. you feel it, they're feathers. We have no idea what it is. It's weird. It's a big pile. It's yeah, a big pile just sitting here when we're walking down. It was not here. Well, it could have been, but we didn't see it. Yeah, All right, we didn't so see it yesterday. Do we go up here? No, we go down here. Hey, we, we could go right up here. No. Because this is the one that we saw last time. We'll just go up here. It's not really a run, well, like an animal run, but... A little runoff. Set, come here. Found a nice hole, like, it's not a hole, but... It's a little cubby. Cubby, but we stick it, and we have no idea what this is, like a guardrail or some sort. Yeah, people dump metal back here, I hate it. Some type of cubby hole back there. Being yeah. the, be a nice spot for a set trap. Go up through here. Up through this thick brush we find a trail we follow. Deer trail. No time. Oh, we could go anyway. It doesn't really matter. They'll lead back the same trail. thing. We just walk for a little bit. That's why the trap is kind of cut down. More urbanized, where the guy who let us own property. Like oh, that's not good. I just got Stuck thorn bush in a place you never want a thorn bush. Wild hole the over here. Is that a hole that you're going? Yeah. We're basically following. Just following the creek. But right now, we're actually wandering off a little far from the creek. Because somebody else's property starts and there's barbed wire and he likes to use his 12 gauge a lot, so we're not going to go over there. We walk through here. There are a few holes back here. We decided we're not going to set up. That's a little here. louder. Okay. Yeah, we decided not to set one here, but I think there is like a good flattened trail going up the center there. Yeah. I don't know about it. We just keep going. A little too close to the other guy's property. I don't want to... Take a risk? Yeah. Okay. Take a risk. Sure Shane, let me get in front of you. What? Good. Yeah, I can't really hear you. Your voice is going the other way. Oh, all right. And as you can see, come up here to a big open field. Like, big. Just opens up. All through here, there's more power lines. Just goes and goes and goes. There's the guy's property, that tree line right over there that we were in between of. We were way back there. Yeah, we were a third power line. <coughs> so we'll keep heading up. Until we reach the spot. Getting closer to the 313 now. 313 is Swamp Road. If you're from the area, you know what that is, but if you're not, you won't know what that is. You'll probably know what it is. Or maybe not, but you know. Saw that black <laughs> over there. Thinking about putting like good. a coon set in there. Coon set in there. We don't know if we want to do that yet though. Just cut through here. The knife keeps digging into me. Cross over here. Another open field. Yep. Start to see some cars going over there. We just come down here. We have about five sets down here. Yeah, five, I tell you. We have a double trap. Yeah, we have a, what are they, uh, United Victor Zeros attached to the same exact chain. So we set them in two different spots. This one we have a number one jumper. Whoa. Double staked right there, the rings at the bottom. They can't, when they pull up, they're pulling against themselves basically. Jumper with some marshmallows spread around it. There's some of that stuff up there. Dead log going across. Right in there, so it reaches hand and gets some marshmallows. Hang them up in the garage. <laughs> We're gonna come down here. Yeah, a little closer to the property. But, but. Yeah, we're pretty close. Yeah, 
coming down in here. Once again, we use this is wax paper, zero. wax paper, and then the marshmallows are below it. Have it tied right up here with a slip knot, another knot, right to that tree. Have a V going on here. Yeah, these rocks are like piled up so they can't get around the top. Short and little arms can't reach in there. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go over to the Duke one and three quarter trap up here. This one is also buried. Yes, yeah, this is buried just like the one and a half. And you can see our house over there. We have permission from this guy over here. And that's his house over there. Big oh, house. Right, I'll tie my boot. Yeah, tie your boot. Alright, I'll just go over here. Alright, as you can see, Shane's over there tying his boot. But I'll show you this trap. This was not touched last night, the orange flag. So we're getting closer to where people are and stuff. Which I don't like, I like being out in the middle of nowhere, but that's all right. Marshmallows, same thing with the wax paper, as you can see. That works really good, that's highly recommended. You can tell them how he marks it with an orange flag. Yeah, the orange flag. Because we're getting closer to humanity. And then we come down here, once again, on the river, or a creek, whatever you want to call it. Come down here, and then we have another V set, but this time, we got, this is the two we were talking about. We have it so that if the, mar if the raccoon comes down this way, it's going to get caught in that trap. And then, if it comes over here, tries to get the